pogi kaso parang bakla. Bakla yan. Feeling guwapo. Oo, pangit yan sa personal. Hala, ano nangyari sa kanya? Dati ang payat niya, ha? Oo nga, ang laki ng pinagbago niya. Ayokong lumabas. Sa bahay lang ako. Ano ba to? Bakit ganito? Ang pogi naman ni Kuya. Sometimes, you would want to be accepted and be in. But at times, you would want to be just left alone. The transition period between childhood and early adulthood is quite difficult. Remember when you started to notice your rapid changes in your body and how mostly resulted in your being self-conscious and being overly emotional. Today, we will be focusing on the developmental tasks and challenges you experience as an adolescent. Also, we will recognize the significant people in your life that have a great impact on your growth and well-being. Hi guys, I'm Teacher Mark. And welcome to your show, where we will learn to become more aware of who we are and better understand ourselves and the people around us. I will guide you in your journey of personal empowerment to become more positive as a person, to be the best version of yourself every day, and to help you raise your confidence, self-motivation, and more. Commit to your vision or plan in achieving your aims and goals in life. Join me as we uncover your limitless potential. Let's rock! This is Personal Development on DeadBed TV. Despite the challenges in your life, with the guidance, assurance, and a better understanding of the process, you will have an easier time transitioning during this extraordinary developmental stage called adolescence. Adolescence is defined as the period between the normal onset of puberty and the beginning of adulthood. World Health Organization defines adolescents as individuals in the age group of 10 to 19 years old and youth as the 15 to 24 age group, while the young people group covers the age range from 10 to 24 years. Adolescents are not a homogeneous population. They exist in a variety of circumstances and have diverse needs. The transition from childhood to adulthood involves dramatic physical, sexual, psychological, and social developmental changes, all taking place at the same time. In addition to opportunities for development, this transition poses risks to their health and well-being. Let's have an interview a few of them and ask them about the most common challenges that adolescents like you experience. Yung isa po sa pinaka napansin kong pagbabago sa katawan ko is yung tinubuan ka na ng buhok sa kilikili mo. Parang naiisip mo na hindi dapat to, na walang dapat ang babae nito, na dapat hindi nila may kita. Hanggang kasi para sa akin na hindi siya magandang tignan para sa isang babae. Yung nga po, nung una ko nagkaroon ng tigyaw at nakakaya po talaga. Kasi po ako yung klase ng tao na masyadong conscious sa sasabihin ng ibang tao. So, Nung una ko pong makita na sa mukha ko na may tigyawat po ko, nakakahiya po talaga kahit na hindi naman po ganun karami. Yung pinakamahirap po sa monthly period talaga para sa mga babae is yung isipin mo yung red spot na dapat uh, alerto ka kung saan ka man magpunta, ano man ginagawa mo, dapat chinecheck mo siya palagi. Yung sakit po sa puson, isa po sa pinakamahirap na challenge para po sa mga katulad kong babae. This is an example of biological challenges. From our last topic, 
we have learned that physical development occurs at this time. This maturation event is called puberty. With the release of sexual hormones, you'll observe that your emotions, moods, and sexual feelings are much stronger. You may feel more impulsive and more inclined to take risks, like experimenting with alcohol, driving without a license, or having unsafe sex. Now, let's proceed to cognitive challenges. According to Jean Piaget, in his theory of cognitive development, adolescence is the time when young people like you develop cognitively from concrete operational, which is from 7 to 11 years old, to formal operational from 12 years and up. With that, you are able to think logically about abstract propositions and test hypotheses systematically. Also, you become concerned with hypothetical, the future, and ideological problems. Here's another interview. Kapag pinag-uusapan po ako, ang napifeel ko lang, may mali po ba sa akin para pag-usapan nila or ano po kaya yung naging dahilan para may pag-usapan sila tungkol sa akin. Ang masasabi ko lang, alam ko naman yung ginagawa ko sa sarili ko and alam ko rin na para sa ikabubuti ko to. Wala naman pa kailang sasabi ng iba. Bakit? Sino ba sila? You have become more self-conscious, thinking you are being watched by others like you are on a center stage or performing for an imaginary audience. It's egocentrism. Egocentrism refers to someone's inability to understand that another person's view or opinion may be different from their own. It represents a cognitive bias in that someone would assume that others share the same perspective as they do, unable to imagine that other people would have a perception of their own. It is important to emotionally take care of yourself if you meet an egocentric person. Remember that their inability to consider your perspective or opinion is about their cognitive bias, not a result of anything you have done. Now, let's proceed to psychological challenges. Grabe no, high school ako. Hinihingkita na ako ng mga classmates ng mga kaibigan ko. Eh bakit ba naman? Tap ko na ako sa klase, tap ko sa sports. Kung po, maning-mani yan sa akin. Lahat yata, kinangang ako, champion ako lahat dito. But sa araw, dahil sa famous daw ako sa school, may nag-invite sa akin kaibigan ko na sumama sa kanila. Eh, pinakita sila sa akin. Napakilus ko pa noon. Sabi nila, party bags daw. Try ko daw, para sumikat ako lalo. Tinikman ko ito nung una. Nagang ayaw ko, sabalit. Habang tinitikman ko ito ng paulit-ulit, parang inahanap-ahanap ko po na ang aking katawan. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam na parang wala kang iniisip dahil sa drugs na to. Parang malaya ka lagi, malaya ka. Masaya ka. Wala kang pakalam sa mga nangyayari sa mundo. Balit. Unti-unting nagkaganap ko. Nasira ang buhay ko. Adolescence is a crucial period you must cope with. From who I am to this is me. To find your answer, attain maturity and independence you are confronted with a series of challenges and developmental tasks. According to World Health Organization's key facts, one in six people is aged 10 to 19 years. Mental health conditions account for 16% of the global burden of disease and injury in people aged 10 to 19 years. Half of all mental health conditions start by 14 years of age but most cases are undetected and untreated. Globally, depression is the one of the leading causes of illness and disability among adolescents. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in 15 to 19 year olds. The consequences of not addressing adolescent mental health conditions extend to adulthood, impairing both physical and mental health and limiting opportunities to lead 
fulfilling lives as adults. You are exposed to different risk factors that can impact your mental health. Factors that can contribute to stress include a desire for greater autonomy, pressure to conform to peers' expectations, exploration of sexual identity, and increased access to and use of technology. Some adolescents are at greater risk of mental health conditions due to their economic conditions, stigma, discrimination or exclusion, or lack of access to quality support and services. With that, you need to develop and maintain social and emotional habits for mental well-being. This includes adopting a healthy lifestyle, getting the right number of sleep hours, exercising regularly, developing coping, creative problem-solving, and social skills, and learning to manage emotions. Supportive environments in the family, at school, and in the wider community are also essential. Now, let's proceed to some of the social issues, including sexual abuse, substance abuse, influence of mass media, and impact of social media. Sabi niya kasi, kung talaga mahal ko siya, pagbibigyan ko siya sa gusto niya. Sa so online lang kasi kami nagkakilala. Tapos, nagkayaya ang magkita. Pumunta kami sa resto para kumain. And bigla na lang ako nahilo at wala na talaga ako naalala. Matatapos na. There are adolescents that face some form of sexual coercion whether through peer pressure or actually believing lines like do you really love me that they may hear from their boyfriend or girlfriend. In addition, easy access to different substances could lead to abuse like smoking or chewing tobacco, drinking too much alcohol and liquor, and worse yet, the use of illegal drugs. Social media can be a great way to connect and communicate with one another especially now during the pandemic. There are some benefits, but it can also be problematic because one can be exposed to cyberbullying and pornography, to name a two. It's important for you as a responsible adolescent to make sure you are fully aware of the risks you are facing and that nobody has the right to force you into anything you are uncountable with. Stay safe online navigate social media in a healthy way. Be a media and information literate. Professor Robert Havighurst of the University of Chicago proposed that stages in human development can best be thought of in terms of the developmental tasks that are part of the normal transition. He identified developmental tasks associated with the adolescent transition. It can also be seen as elements of the overall sense of self that adolescents carry with them as they move toward and into young adulthood. A developmental task is a task that arises at or about a certain period in life, unsuccessful achievement of which leads to inability to perform tasks associated with the next period or stage in life. Here are the developmental tasks. First learning to get along with friends of both sexes, to learn to look upon girls as women and boys as men, to become an adult among adults, to learn to work with others for a common purpose, disregarding personal feelings, to lead without dominating. Second, accepting one's physical body and keeping it healthy, to accept one's body to keep it healthy through good nutrition exercise, disease prevention, and other health practices. Third, becoming more self-sufficient. To develop affection for parents and respect for older adults without dependence upon them. Fourth, making decisions about marriage and family life. To explore attitudes toward family life and having children. To acquire the knowledge necessary for home management and, if desired, child rearing. Fifth, preparing for a job or career. To develop career or vocational goals and ways to reach these goals. 
to be able to make a living. Six, acquiring a set of values to guide behavior. To develop an outlook toward life based on what is important. Seventh, becoming socially responsible. To participate as a responsible person with friends at home and in the community. To develop personal moral values to guide behavior. Being in senior high school is another stage of life that young adolescents like you need to prepare for to face the adversities that challenge your well-being. Armed with confidence and logical thinking, you can be guided in any decisions to take in life. As you continuously progress in every learning situation, it is also fitting to look back at the people who molded you to become better as a person. Surrounding yourself with the people who have contributed significantly to your personal development is a good strategy for self-growth. Not only do they give you a sense of belongingness, but also a feeling of security for having an extended family beyond your own. Since man cannot survive alone, every individual needs social membership in order to develop different potentials necessary for present and future success. Adolescents choose their idols from people they see in social media and from the society they get involved in. From these people they see as role models, they get inspiration and imbibe their positive outlooks in life. These people help mold them in many significant ways and become part of their existence. Let's hear it from you. Who are the people who influence you as a person? How did they contribute to your personal development? My parents, maswerte ako sa mga magulang ko dahil alam kong responsable sila at pagmahal sila ng mga magulang. Mga kapatid ko, kahit paminsan-minsan nag-aaway, mahal ko ang mga kapatid ko at mahal din nila ako. Friends, para ko na rin sila mga kapatid. Masaya ako pagkasama ko silang nagkukwentuhan at nagkukulitan. Idol ko si teacher kasi nakikita ko talagang magaling siya. Gusto ko rin maging guru balang araw dahil na-inspire niya ako po sige para makamit ko ang mga pangarap ko sa buhay. Bilang pangalawang magulang, marami akong natutunan sa kanya. Hindi lamang pangakadem ko, kundi mga aral sa buhay. How does each agent influence you as a person? How did they contribute to your personal development? With your help, to what extent have you improved in the emotional, intellectual, spiritual, and social aspects of your personality. A person's development is always attributed to the influences he or she got from being involved with other people and society. It is important to evaluate personal progress to track the level of skills acquired and to focus on the aspects of oneself that need to be improved. To effectively facilitate this, there is a need to assess oneself through the help of other people. Their honest feedback means so much to previews one's plan of action and to realign specific items in it to address the goals one sets for oneself. Through the process of socialization, adolescents are exposed to many learning opportunities. As they learn, they will notice additional skills and the buildup of character under the influence of people whom they look up to. Family as the most important agent of socialization, has given you the knowledge of self-care. As you learn to take care of yourself, you are also taught the way you must deal with other agents in society. Parents teach the value of relationships. They give you their system of belief, traditions, culture, and values that you can use for discernment during difficult decision-making. Peers will always have a great deal of influence in your life. It is rightful, therefore, for parents to feel worried at times about the circle of friends you hope to get involved in. Peers with the right values can teach you to develop skills in organizing tasks, working together with others, giving and receiving feedback in order to evaluate personal learning acquisition. Teachers are also special agents we see in school a place where many exciting memories are forged through time 
as we collaborate with peers. Let us try accomplish these two activities. Our first activity is expressing my gratitude. It is rightful to express one's gratitude to people who have given you inspiration and have helped you grow. This is the chance to tell them how grateful you are for what you have become and the achievements you have reached all these years. Express your appreciation by creating a photo collage with a short message or code. Post it on your social media account and use the hashtag MyPDJourney and hashtag grateful, hashtag thank you. For our second activity is identifying core values. Core values are the important beliefs of a person or organization that one is part of. These are guiding principles that tell us the right behavior that an individual must manifest as he or she deals with human interaction. Core values are normally learned from people as one continues to engage in socialization. These values help in personal development towards achieving one's set goals in life. In order to be successful in the future, it is necessary to imbibe important values that would serve as a guide towards self-fulfillment. Choose your five core values you have learned from all the significant people in your life. We are nearing the end of our episode. Remember class, challenges like peer pressure, low self-esteem, and hormonal surges can lead you to take chances and engage in risky behaviors that could have a positive or negative effect on your future. As a responsible adolescent, it is important for you to have a support system to rely on. Your parents, siblings, teachers, and good friends can provide you strength and advice as you navigate this challenging, exciting time in your life. Here is a quote from Rick Warren, the author of The Purpose Driven Life. God changes caterpillars into butterflies, sand into pearls, and coal into diamonds. Using time and pressure, He's working on you too. Share your challenges and how you overcame them. Also, mention the significant person or people who helped you along the way and contributed meaningfully to who you are today. Use the hashtag MyPDJourney and hashtag DeadBedTV. Before we end our episode today, let me share this positive quotation from Jim Rohn. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge. Wish for more wisdom. We need each other. We are imperfect. We must encourage each other and appreciate the people who bring out the best in us. Today, be significant. Bring out the best in others. Be a blessing. This is Teacher Mark. I see greatness in you. Know your worth. Make a habit of developing yourself and be your best version every day. See you in our next episode on personal development on Deathbed TV.